welcome back to a new what i eat in day video i am very excited to share today's video because i definitely think my what i eat in today has been changing in the last few months and one of the reasons i mentioned this in my previous video that i got my period back is definitely because i made some adjustments in my nutrition and also my lifestyle and fitness goals have been changing where i have been really wanting to gain muscle and gain some weight so i definitely had to make some changes to my nutrition and i just wanted to share a little bit more today what i'm eating why i'm eating it and the proportions and kind of go a little bit deeper into it for today's video if you're interested in this and really trying to find the ways to get enough protein then you should watch today's video i did a little workout this morning and i am quite hungry but I really found a creative way to incorporate protein into a sweet breakfast and I'm going to show you how because this has been a breakfast recipe that I've been making on repeat. Whip it up! Okay, these are the ingredients I'm going to use for my breakfast bowl. I have Greek yogurt. I really like the one from Strauss Creamery. I think it comes the closest to European yogurt. I have some seeds to support my hormones and then I have virtual protein powder, my absolute favorite, almond butter and banana. So let's make this. breakfast bowl of today i know this looks a little bit weird but it literally tastes like a dessert bowl with tons of protein i am going to calculate it exactly but i think it's around 40 grams you cannot make this just with every type of protein powder as you guys know ritual is my absolute favorite number one protein powder because of a couple reasons it is so easy for me to digest i often find with pea proteins that i just have a lot of like stomach issues this is so great and it is so fluffy that's why you're able to actually make it into a whip as well into a smoothie but sometimes i'm just not craving a smoothie so this protein powder actually works as well in like different types of dishes it's made with organic grown peas non-gmo it's vegan friendly sugar free all of that i have a special discount code for my community you can use sauna 30 for 30 percent of your order on ritual.com and if you order it for the first time and you do not like it they will give you a refund which is honestly it just speaks for itself how good the product actually is I am a huge fan, I use it every single day. It's been such an easy way for me to incorporate protein throughout the day because you know, sometimes you're busy, you need a quick smoothie or like something like that and a protein powder is just so amazing. So yeah, I have this bowl which is extremely hormone balancing I feel like and I'm gonna actually just show you how. Okay, so we have protein with, with Greek yogurt, tons of the healthy fats, protein, we have almond butter, some banana, I have a homemade granola with some quinoa and oats with some carbs and fiber. And then I used some seed. This is a mixture of like flax seed and hemp seed and all of that. I got it from this brand, but it's also very easy to make yourself because it's just flax seed, pumpkin seeds and hemp seeds. So yeah, this is my delicious bowl. Like, look at this. Oh, I'm gonna eat this right now. Mm -hmm.
started off with a matcha and I added a splash of sprout pea milk. I discovered this in Amsterdam and I absolutely love pea milk. It's way less sweet than oat milk, has like less sugars and actually contains some protein too. So this is the start of my day. All right guys, it is 1 p.m. and I'm going to make a lunch. I have been craving this lunch for the last few days because it is so good. It's an amazing twist on a chicken salad with a carrot miso dressing. And I'm telling you guys, the secret is in the dressing and it's actually so easy to make. But this is how you get really get salads really flavorful. Um, so I'm gonna make some chicken. I'm actually gonna make a double portion because this is a little trick if you just want to save time is prep all the kit chicken you have and then you can just like store it in the fridge and then i already meal prepped quinoa guys meal prepping is my jam lately especially because i'm bouncing around between the office and then at home it's weird saying that the office um, but I really understand like when you're not working at home, for example, or you're not home all day long, that sometimes prepping meals can be a little difficult. That's why guys, meal prep. This is just so easy to throw into like a salad or into a bowl or whatever. So I have extra protein. I'm gonna make the chicken salad. We're gonna start off with cutting up some veggies and then I will show you what I'm making. all the veggies and we're gonna start on the carrot miso ginger dressing pay good attention I'm gonna put the recipe down below also the full recipe of this whole salad is on my souls and body app so you can check it out there but this dressing is gonna change your life okay also it's probably safer to use a big carrot but I only have baby carrots left so this is what we're Going to work with just really watch out with your fingers and then another key ingredient in the dressing is really the miso often miso paste um, I mean, you can find it in whole foods or at your like asian local store i absolutely love miso paste because i use it for like fish for marinades for dressings all of that it's like one of my favorite secret ingredients Let's see a little more So I'm gonna grate some fresh ginger, which is really delicious.
Okay, my amazing salad is ready. I'm gonna stir it all up because I love the dressing to be everywhere. But this is an amazing big bowl. It's right out. Mm. That is so good. All right. So I wanted to dive in a little bit deeper into kind of how I have been trying to incorporate more protein and how I've been trying to actually gain muscle and weight. So in order to gain muscle, you need to up your protein and your carbohydrates. So obviously I've been incorporating more animal protein. This is just like the easiest way for me to get protein. I've been adding like more snacks and actually just making sure that immediately in the morning I have breakfast. Before I think, I mentioned this in my previous video, sometimes I would just be a little bit more like intuitive with my body and just be like, oh, if I'm not hungry in the morning, I'm like eating a little later at 11 or something. And I've been really trying like from the moment I wake up to always have a mealy breakfast. And I think this has helped me so much also in balancing my hormones. So that has definitely helped. And then I find this like tricky to share because at the beginning I have also kind of been like tracking my protein intake a little bit. And I know that if you have a little bit of an obsessive like personality that, or you don't even have to, but tracking anything can be kind of very tricky. And I'm not really a huge believer of tracking your macros and really going that deep into it. I often feel it has more of a negative effect than a positive effect. However though, I just really wanted to see where I was at with protein. So I started like tracking my meals just for like the protein intake. And I really started to realize I was not getting enough. I was not getting near 125 grams. So it actually enforced me to really eat more, like bigger portions, more protein, more snacks. And I thought it was just like really interesting how it actually like helped me in that way. I am not currently tracking. I kind of like got the feel of it. And I also think I made like a, a conscious decision where I started to feel my body change. And I've just been really embracing it because it feels weird. Like it's honestly weird. I cannot even imagine like if you're pregnant or like whatever, in whatever state your body is changing, it, it just like, it's almost like unfamiliar. And I've just been truly embracing it where I'm like, I love it. I'm like, I'm getting stronger. It's, I'm able to like lift heavier things. Um, I'm feeling energized, I'm feeling good. So I'm like, I truly, Feel it has been like such an amazing like and good impact on me so yeah loads of delicious like new recipes that i have been like working on as well and i make sure now that i always have sweet potato or quinoa or like grilled chicken or like salmon in the fridge so whenever i need something with protein or whatever i just like add it in also if you have any questions then feel free to ask them in the comments down below i'm gonna try to respond to everything and everyone i will be like on it let me know if you have any questions that you want me to know max just ate my snack oh my god okay i just made a snack which is honestly a weird it's snack a rice cracker with some um turkey on it some salt and pepper and then i put some olive oil on it but yeah, this looks a little weird. And then I filled up a new bottle of water and I'm gonna add some electrolytes. This is from the brand Symbiotica. This is the lemon citrus. I'm just gonna put that in here. This helps me to stay hydrated and also sometimes a little flavoring makes me drink more water. This is my snack. Um, it is dinner time. It is 7.15. It's actually pretty late already. I prefer to have dinner a little bit earlier, like eat by 7, but you know, sometimes life happens and it just gets really busy. I am going to make a steak. This is grass-fed beef strip steak that I got um, from the natural food store and then I'm gonna make some sweet potato fries because I was really craving it and probably with some veggies. I always buy organic or grass-fed like proteins. So many of the animal proteins are filled with so many like hormones and just stuff. So I always try to get like the cleanest version of it. Um, we're gonna make this in the air fryer because 
it's just the easiest. My friend actually recommended making this in air fryer and it's so much easier, it's way less mess. It's actually a really big tip that it just makes making a steak so much easier because in a pan it can be a little intimidating. So let's make this. This is a dinner here. We have some meat. We have cabbage with some scrambled eggs in it, a little bit of bacon, and then some sweet potato and normal fries. And I'm gonna plate this. This is what my plate looks like. I also added some ketchup to it, but yeah, this is a dinner. I have some Hugh Kitchen hazelnut butter milk chocolate. I absolutely love this. They came out with a new one with grass fed milk. Before it was dark chocolate, but I actually really prefer the milk chocolate over the dark one. Mmm. So good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope some of the meals and recipes gave you some inspiration. That's always the goal with my wedding in day videos that recipes can be an ingredient requiring to make at home. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you version.